back in the shed. Uh, another part of my preparation is how I'm going to mix this concrete. And I have my bags of cement there. I've decided to use ready mix because basically everything that's in a bag is is what I need. I don't need to measure out different parts and things like that. And also around where I live, it's very difficult to get all raw materials together and then get them all to one place. Whereas if it comes in a bag, you know that uh, it's all in there and ready to go. The other side of it is mixing it. I don't have a concrete mixer or, or anything else like that. My wheelbarrow is not very good. Um, I have a spade, but I had a bit of a look online and I saw an 85 year old man mix a bag of concrete in a thick plastic bag. Basically, he just put the contents of the concrete in and poured an amount of water in, tied up the bag and mixed it and then poured it into the hole. Um, and I thought, if he can do it, then I can too. There are a few bags to mix, but I'm sure with a bit of hard work and determination, I can do it with very limited resources. So this will be interesting. It'll either be a lesson in what not to do, or an option for the future. Okay, so I have my concrete in a bag and my two litre ice cream container of water. All I basically do is throw that in the bag, mix it all around and pour. Should be easy. Yep, that didn't take long and it doesn't look looks pretty good consistency so it's about to start time to start pouring <laughs> 